You may not believe that this platform of only 400 square meters, which is not as big as a basketball court, is a country, although it is small in size, but it has a restaurant, a bar, a gift store and a post office. This is the smallest independent country in history, called the Isle of Roses. It is located on the high seas near Italy. The president is Giorgio Rosa, an engineer. He usually likes to develop some strange and bizarre things, even the car. He took his girlfriend out for a ride was made by his own hands, but his car was stopped by a police car in the middle of the road because it had no license plate. The traffic police saw the strange appearance of the car, so he asked him to show his driver's license, but the car was made by his own hands. How can there be documents? When the police officers heard this, he immediately wanted to impound the car. Giorgio tried to argue, but to no avail, he tried to resist and retrieve the car and was soon subdued by the traffic police. Giorgio was detained on charges of obstruction. The incident led to his girlfriend's conviction. It also affected her career advancement in the future. She was so angry that she wanted to break up with Giorgio, but Giorgio didn't think it was such a big deal. His girlfriend was angry at him for living in his own world all day and has no regard for other people's feelings. Giorgio was immediately energized by this. Although the world is not his now, but he can build a new world of his own. But how is he going to build a new world? Until a few months later, Giorgio was volunteering for a motorcycle race. He accidentally saw a billboard that read, My platform, your freedom. At that moment, Giorgio had the idea that the high seas were not under the jurisdiction of any country. He could build a new country on the high seas. But because Giorgio didn't hold up the sign, the racers had to look at the sign with their heads tilted. Then the motorcycle overturns and bursts into flames. Giorgio ruined the contestants' chances of becoming a champion. Giorgio got the idea and immediately found his good friend Maurizio to discuss how to build a country on the high seas. They first inspected the sea and found a suitable location to build a platform on the water. Underwater, they needed to use steel pipes as a foundation. It takes down scenes of steel pipes to support the weight of a country, but they couldn't afford to pay for the cost of transporting down scenes of steel pipes to the high seas, let alone the cost of buying the materials. But Giorgio loves to do all kinds of experiments in his spare time. This was not a problem for him. He immediately turned around and started experimenting. They can make the steel tube into a hollow structure. In this way, the steel pipe is not only cheaper to build, they could also float on the sea for easy transportation. When they arrived at the destination, then open the cover of the pipe and let the sea water into the pipe so the pipe will sink to the bottom of the sea. All plans are ready. It's time to start building a country. What do you need to do to build a country at sea? You first have to pull some steel pipes out into the open sea, then climb to one end of the pipe to open the lid and let the hollow pipe filled with seawater so that the tubes can sink to the bottom of the water. The solid pillars of the construction country were successfully placed. Finally, a 400 square meter platform was built. The Isle of Roses was born. The resources for living here are scarce. They used a drill to dig fresh water from the seafloor. Giorgio looked at his territory and smelled freedom. He was overjoyed. It wasn't long before a marine police patrol arrived, but Giorgio wasn't afraid of them and said, Bro, I'm an independent country here. This is not your business. The marine police wished them luck and sailed away. Giorgio saw his masterpiece and immediately decided to stay here for the first night. Looking at the sea with a sea breeze, lying in a sheer with a cup of coffee was a real treat. It never rains but it pours. The sky just had a white moon reflecting the bright moonlight. But the next moment there is a sudden rainstorm. The only umbrella on the Isle of Roses was directly blown away by the storm. Giorgio instantly looked like a drowned rat. The good thing is that the platform supporting the country is strong enough. The platform did not move, even though the sea was being it like crazy. At that moment, there was a cry for help from the sea. It turned out that a drifter was lost because of the heavy rain. Giorgio saw this and waved his hands to tell him to take refuge on the Isle of Roses. From that day on, Jean became the first resident of the Isle of Roses. It so happened that he was a welder. It took Jean only a few days to build a house on the Isle of Roses. When a country has its first inhabitant, it will soon have its second. This man, W. R. is a publicist. He was expelled from the country for his crimes. So now he comes to the Isle of Roses. W. 
Ar, not only gave the island its name, but also established the official language of the Isle of Roses, and put up a sign in the Italian port. A sailing route to the island was opened. People in the neighborhood were curious about the newly created country, and came to visit for their vacations. The Isle of Roses was immediately crowded with people. There was a long waiting line on the sea. As the number of visitors grew, Giorgio opened a bar and restaurant on the island. A beautiful woman wanted to be a part of the Isle of Roses, and became a bartender on the island. Franca became the third citizen of the Isle of Roses. Soon Giorgio was making a lot of money, since the country was his. He didn't have to pay taxes on the money he earned, but it didn't take long for the unexpected to happen. It was the smallest independent country in the world. Located on the high seas near Italy, it is about 400 square meters in size. Their national philosophy is freedom. When the newspaper about the Isle of Roses was launched, many tourists came to see the Isle of Roses Republic. But in the eyes of President Giorgio's ex-girlfriend, it's a resort. It is not an independent country at all. This statement instantly woke Giorgio up, so he set up a government that night and gave himself the presidency. He formed a foreign ministry. He submitted a request for statehood to the United Nations. Giorgio didn't expect the process of creating a country to go smoothly either. Not only did the UN not reject his application, it also informed the Italian government that a country had suddenly appeared in the sea, just 11 kilometers from Italy. This made the Italian officials very nervous. They immediately sent investigators to the Isle of Roses to find out what was going on. However, these two investigators felt the freedom of the Isle of Roses and decided to stay for good. The Italian government was furious. They rushed to issue a speech through the media stating that Italy refused to recognize the Isle of Roses as an independent country. But instead of throwing the Isle of Roses into crisis, on the contrary, it was a free advertising campaign for it. Now the whole world knows about this independent country. Thousands of people emailed to apply to become citizens of the Isle of Roses. When the Italian government saw that this approach was not working, they sent people to the island again to negotiate. They planned to bribe President Giorgio with money. As long as Giorgio disbanded the Isle of Roses, then the Italian government would give him more money than he could spend in his lifetime. But Giorgio wasn't interested in money at all. He built his country to be free. Kick love methods, Haven T worked it as time to get tough. That afternoon, Giorgio's father was forced to retire by the Italian government. The Italian government also bribed Giorgio's residents with high prices. Italy also claimed that the Isle of Roses was established to evade taxes, so the state decided to take enforcement measures against it. They sent warships to blow up the Isle of Roses. When Giorgio learned of this, he stayed with a few people left on the Isle of Roses to defend the country. They held hands and confronted the warship. They didn't back down, even when they were warned by shells. When the Italian government saw their attitude, they had to send troops to forcibly move them. In the end, the Isle of Roses sank into the sea forever in a hill of cannon fire. But this is also the only war of aggression Italy has launched so far. This film is based on true events, although the Isle of Roses has only existed in this world for two years. But it is a symbol of freedom. Even if it was finally blown up by power, it is already in the history and in the blood of everyone who believes in freedom.